while I'm here, I might as well see. Might as well see who won the derby. Didn't know the derby was going on. The guy you're talking to is Jimmy. <laughs> That's me. He just said that. He goes, who won? Was it Jimmy or Randy? And then you show up out of nowhere. Are you Randy? Yeah. Oh, I got both of them here. They were just asking me who won. My road dog right here. Oh, we're gonna win. The world famous Jimmy and Randy. You put do you put my shows on the big screen? Yeah, you come by. We'll That's me. Right yeah. And you? That's such a close pass. That's hey, me. Oh, come on, man. He doesn't reckon. Come on, buddy. Yep. Right <laughs> All right. I just heard you told a really incredible story. Is it good? Oh, about about when I was in the Peace Corps in Nicaragua. All right, we can get that story too. I mean, <laughs> you what know the stories? Which one you want? No, yeah, I mean. <laughs> So what are we? What are we filming? I love you. Just came. Well, I'm, I have a fishing show. I do. I'm okay. Live, but I'm live on YouTube right now. All right. And uh, so the, the. I guess I saw Chris come over and ask you to tell KSBW about the lane story. The weather was great. I drove down to Spot and Big Sur, and I climbed down the cliff in the dark, and swam out like right before first light. Yeah, so that's like 6.15, and it wasn't until like 1.30, almost 2, before I saw my first link on. So I was running <laughs> for a long time, just diving, looking under every rock I could find, wasn't finding him. And then I was breathing up, about to quit and go back in, and I saw this big bulldog of a link come out from this boulder and chase like a little green link thing away and go right back under the boulder. And I was like, man, I looked on that boulder already like four times today because it's a beautiful looking rock. <laughs> The kind of rock you would think a link cloud would be hiding under. So I was like, man, I already looked in there. I was like, I don't understand. So I went and looked in the main entrance. Couldn't, couldn't see, see him. Looked all around the sides and the back. Couldn't find any side holes. <laughs> and finally, I was like, well, maybe if I turn my body this way, I can wiggle in upside down and get a better view further back in. So I God. did that and went in there and I just see this big head sitting way back in the corner. I was like, all right. So now I need to figure out how to do that maneuver, Except but with out. figure I need to do that maneuver with the spear gun. So I yeah, can shoot you might it. need something to shoot right. it. Yeah. So oh, you went in without it the first time. Yeah. So it's easier <laughs> for me usually to kind of like find the fish if I wiggle in with my arms back behind oh, okay. me, just the light. But then if you put both arms in your, your yeah, your you, you make you wider. Right. So usually I'll try and find the fish, and then if I see the fish, then I can swing the gun around. Otherwise, then I'm kind of restricting my my entrance space uh -oh. so anyway so <laughs> right, i, I figured to, out how to get in the there with cut. the gun shot it right between the eyes i was super stoked but then i couldn't get it out like <laughs> it's it went like it, it was it was like a little like gap like this and open up into a bigger room so it was back in the bigger room and so i'm pulling it out and like i can't get it out so i was like i'm really afraid if i force on it too hard I'm gonna, it's the, the shaft's gonna rip out or whatever. So I went back to my dive board, got my backup gun, put another shot right between its right, right in its eyeball. And in the then dead I had fish both, this time. Both spears, able to wiggle it to a slightly wider area, and then was able to reach my hand under its chin and then pull it out. So, and how big was it? Uh, it was 19.22 pounds. So. And you're still waiting? Yeah, so it's a, it's, a two, it's a two fish tournament, and I only got one fish. Uh, and there's a two day tournament, and I was gonna dive today, but my sinuses were all messed up, uh, and I was just I was too wrecked to dive today. So I just drank beer and hung out with the family. So they have instead. a big fish or no? I don't know. We'll there's see. No, there's no big fish. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So like, you have the best story though, right? There you go. He, it doesn't matter if you won or lost. He's got the best story. He's like that guy. And we appreciate all the community support. Without you guys, without our sponsors, this would not have been possible. So thank you guys so much. Give everybody a round of applause. Before we start passing out cash, I gotta give a shout out to all of our sponsors. And we got a lot of them this year. We got really lucky. Yes, we did. We have Pig Wizards, Lane that's, Lane that's Jigs, nice. Off the Hook Essentials, Band in Bulgaria, Rob Allen, Maverick, Hammerhead, Daiwa, Madame Lure Company, Tackle Tech, Ridge Jigs, The Right Solution Doors and Service, Turner's, no, Salinas, Cali Wayne King, Big It's Real. 
Tale of the Tales, Dark Water, Asteria Almar, Blue Water Diving, Nitro Cycle, and Kinetic Motorsport Photography. Thank you to all of you. But Fair yeah, fishing. all right. Fred Ivanoli, of course. Oh wait, here we Coming go. Coming in fourth place, Greg F. Greg F. <laughs> Woo! Is that you? No. Nothing. All right. All right. All right. Oh, that's Coming it. Coming in third place with Pal of fourteen points three. Fourteen point three. Yeah, he won it. Dan F. Yeah. 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 No, we're not at a bar, Muggsy. <laughs> It's like, where's the kid at the bar? Coming in second place, a man that you know around here. Oh boy. Oh. Also known as Big Jim Russell. Second place. Yeah, second. 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 One fish. That's pretty good. It's the guy we just heard the story from, guys. Big Jim also got the biggest link on in the spear fishing category. This is from Australia. Very nice. So he won two things. He only weighed one fish. Spearfishing, free diving only, at the lake at 19.64 pounds. Oh. Ben Y. Ben Y. Oh. Ben Y. Ben Y. Ben Y. This is spear fishing. Jimmy was on a boat. All right, that's it. We're done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we got this little thing called barely legal. Oh, barely legal. Now we're talking. Uh, You're in the right. Now we're this talking. One? I'm in the right. Yeah. 23 and a eight. <laughs> oh, no. They got me. Exactly 22 Sean inches. Sean Mazzatelli, you hear? Where's Sean? What? <laughs> you only had one fish barely legal. Of course he's not here. <laughs> you think you're going to be here if you have one barely legal fish? Of course not. Our youngest fisherman. Oh, the youngest one. That weighed in today. All right? With a pound of 11.7. That's 11.7. Lucas Alvarado. Lucas! <laughs> I am a fishing channel, I can do this. No, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Coming in third place, Hook and Line, Bring the Link 2019, 30.24 pounds. Mr. David Hicks. David Hicks. That's okay. Nobody here? He's not here? All right. Coming in second place, Break the Lane 2019, hook and line at 37.64 pounds. Mike Hale! Yeah! yeah. All right, now it's time to see if Jimmy actually won it. Jimmy won it. Really? <laughs> Coming in at first place, Break the Lane 2019, hook and line. Oh, okay. 44.56 pounds. It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Nunez! Yeah! The legend did it again. <laughs> oh, he's fourth last year. Coming in fourth place. 29.34 pounds of hooking line. Carlos M. Carlos! Hey! Come on, Carlos! Damn that guy's sexy. Fifth place, hook and line, 2019. 26.27 pounds. Sabrina! Everybody should come from that way. She came from the other way. Sixth place. <coughs> Good job. With pounds of 22. Decimal 08. Ryan R. Ryan R. Americans are very excited. Yes, we are, Ozzy. It takes very little. Joseph Evers! Joseph! Link Hodge. 
Ling Cod is the fish. are watching the game. <laughs> the the up and W got what they wanted. They're out. Yeah. She only need the winner. Thank you.